A reading from the book of Joshua. Today is July 25th. Our reading from Joshua is chapter 19. The second lot fell to Simeon. The portion of the tribe of the Simeonites by their clans lay inside the portion of the Judites. Their portion comprised Beersheba, Orsheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bala, Ezem, Eltolad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markabath, Hazar Susa, Beth Leboath, and Sharua, thirteen towns with their villages, Ain, Rimon, Ether, and Ashen, four towns with their villages, together with all the villages in the vicinity of those towns down to Balath Beer and Ramath Negeb. That was the portion of the tribe of the Simeonites by their clans. The portion of the Simeonites was part of the territory of the Judites. Since the share of the Judites was larger than they needed, the Simeonites received a portion inside their portion. The third lot emerged for the Zebu Zebulonites by their clans. The boundary of their portion, starting at Sarid, their boundary ascended westward to Marala, touching to Dabashef and touching the Wadi along the Jokaneum. And it also ran from Sarid along the eastern side, where the sun rises past the territory of Chisloth Tabor, and on to Deberoth and ascend to Japhia. From there it ran back to the east toward the sunrise, to Gehefer, to Ethkazin, and on to Rimon, where it curved to Nea. Then it turned, that is, the boundary on the north to Hananoth. Its extreme limits were the valley of Iftael, Katath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their villages. That was the portion of the Zebulonites by their clans, those towns with their villages. The fourth lot fell to Issachar, the Issacharites, by their clans. Their territory comprised Jezreel, Chesaloth, Shunem, Hafarim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabith, Kishon, Ebez, Remeth, Enganim, and Hada, and Beth Pazez. The boundary touched Tabor, Shazima, and Beth Shemesh, and their boundary ran to the Jordan, sixteen towns with their villages. That was the portion of the tribe of the Issacharites, by their clans, the towns with their villages. The fifth lot fell to the tribe of the Asherites, by their clans. The boundary ran along Helkath, Hali, Betan, Ashaf, Alamelech, Ahmad, and Mishal, and it touched Carmel on the west, and Sihor Libnoth. It also ran along the east side to Beth Dagan, and touched Zebulun in the valley of Ifta El to the north, and also Bethlehem and Nael. Then it ran to Cabo on the north, Ebron, Rehob, Haman, and Canal, up to the great Sidon. The boundary turned to Ramah and on to the fortified cities of Tyre. Then the boundary turned to Hosa and it ran on westward to Mehebel, Aksib, Uma, Afik, and Rehob, 22 towns with their villages. That was the portion of the tribe of the Ashtarites by their clans, those towns with their villages. The sixth lot fell to the Naphtalites, the Naphtalites by their clans. Their boundary ran from Heloth, Emizanamanim, Adamai Nekeb, and Jabneel to Lakum, and it ended at the Jordan. The boundary then turned westward to Asnoth Tabor and ran from there to Hukok. It touched Zebulun on the south, and it touched Asher on the west, and Judah and at the Jordan on the east. Its fortified towns were Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Chinreth, Adama, Rama, Hazor, Kedesh, Edre, and Hazor, Iron, Migdal, Horam, Bethanath, Beth Shemesh, nineteen towns with their villages. That was the portion of the tribe of the Naphtalites by their clans, the towns with their villages. The seventh lot fell to the tribe of the Danites by their clans. Their allotted territory comprised Zora, Eshtaol, Irshemesh, Shabal. Shalabin, Aijalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, 
Eltike, Gibbethon, Balath, Jehud, Ben Barak, Gathraman, May Jarkan, and Rakan at the border near Joppa. But the territories of the Danites slipped from their grasp. So the Danites migrated and made war on Leshem. They captured it and put it to the sword. They took possession of it and settled it. And they changed the name of Leshon to Dan after their ancestor Dan. That was the portion of the tribe of the Danites by their clans, those towns with their villages. When they had finished allotting the land by its boundaries, the Israelites gave a portion in their midst to Joshua, son of Nun. At the command of the Lord, they gave him the town that he asked for, Timnath Serah, in the hill country of Ephraim. He fortified the town and settled in it. These are the portions assigned by Lot to the tribes of Israel by the priest Eleazar, Joshua, son of Nun, and the heads of the ancestral houses before the Lord at Shiloh, at the entrance of the tent of meeting.